Good morning. I am outside Dobble's African Bead Gallery and near the Embad Museum. So this gallery all started with this one structure inside filled with beads and books on African history. And every bead gives you an insight into culture and the things that those beads represent. But the uh, man who started it all actually expanded that into an outdoor museum called the Embad Museum, taking broken glass, broken mirrors, stone, rock, uh, iron, and many other things to create a number of installations. There are about eight 18 sculptures and within the sculptures that he has built in this two block stretch of land the sculptures have meaning this isn't just a random assembly of pieces but each sculpture has meaning behind it one of the most talked about sculptures and installations out here is this piece it is called iron teaching rocks how to rust this is a piece that has uh, been covered in many national and even international articles, rocks teaching, I'm sorry, iron teaching rocks how to rust. And it is a statement on one culture trying to impose something upon another culture that doesn't quite fit. And as I mentioned, each of these sculptures have a statement of their own. You can come during the opening hours of Double's African Bead Gallery, meet the owner and hear a little bit from him, or you can do a self-guided tour as I am this morning and walk around as the outdoor portion of the museum is available for you to peruse and explore. Just take it all in. It is one of the many incredible things here in Detroit that is outdoors for you to enjoy if you're looking for something artistic to do. This is definitely a wonderful option. So Double's African Bead Gallery and Embad Museum. Reporting here in Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.